Welcome to Chris VV Journey. Back on my channel, we're talking about two drops that are happening today. And as promised about the uh, New York Comic Con exclusive stuff. If you're visiting New York Comic Con, I guess that's the kind of interesting stuff you want to know. And um, yes, there's also a giveaway done by Marvel. So let's talk about it. So obviously a lot of stuff going on right now. I try to go through it as fast as possible. Uh, hopefully a little faster than the last video. So let's go. <laughs> so first thing, Marvel has tweeted and Marvel is big, right? Their, their Twitter has like 16.1 million followers. Now everyone and their mother is obviously following Marvel, but not always people are actually looking at it. So take that with a grain of salt. That are, These are big numbers but they don't have like the best uh what would you say the, the interaction with the community is not so big like if you look at this at this tweet itself it has 414 retweets and this was done like almost 24 hours ago so which is still big don't get me wrong it's still big it's great it's it's the target audience right this is the ones you want to reach so this is super dope if they tweet about it but don't go crazy and think there's like 16 16 million followers means we get 1.6 million new wallets onto the app that's not going to happen uh anyway so what we have is there is the marvel insider reward system and they give away a red skull so the first thing that comes to mind to my mind at this point is if they give away one of their red skulls that has to kind of be one of the first 40 pieces right like mint 1 to 40 i mean we never see mint number one but maybe mint number 25 or whatever that's a possibility maybe it's just something they also collected for giveaways we don't know but that, that's what interests me the most like what mint are those um right now the guy is above 120 gems i guess that was the last time i remember when i looked at it so roughly around 100 bucks that's that, that's cool that's a good reward um i would love to join this system for the rewards but <laughs> so first of all it's not open to non-us residents so that's that's the biggest downside again and that's actually why i don't use my marvel insider at all i i just try to log into it i forgot my my password again i always forgot the password when i try to log in into marvel insider because i log in like once a year or whatever and i i i i'm used to changing my passwords relatively often so um because it's just safer and yeah that that's messed up like i got expired points 9100 expired points and now i got 1300 points left so that's not cool i'm i'm not eligible to to join this giveaway because i'm a german resident however if you get got on the website uh under featured rewards here you can see the marvel mighty's red skull digital collectible giveaway so that's 2500 points i only have 1300 points i can't uh, join i got nine days to accumulate uh, 1200 points that i'm missing um but yeah <laughs> I, I don't know how and like i said i'm a german resident so i'm not able to to go with it but um I don't know if they can actually check it to be honest i don't know if, if, if i had the points i would spend it on it because i never spend my points here anyway um yeah but marvel insiders really something they should need to be to make it more interesting like i really don't use it at all and my name here is still iphone and the last time i used an iphone is like i don't know has to be like 12 13 maybe 14 years ago i have no idea like that was iphone four times that's when i made my marvel insider account so that's weird so so much about black uh not black was a red skull so red skull so we talked about red skull that's it let's move on to something else um the drops that ha are happening now so i talked about the stcc drops before but today is the first drop SCCC exclusive the poster drop the con exclusive um welcome to new york poster we have 
60 gems for the poster, only 2,900 edition. That is not much. That is pretty scarce. It's an ultra rare and a con exclusive. Um, like I said, I think these are done pretty well, but I don't recognize the artist. I hate that they don't tell who is the artist. Um, that's why always everyone is thinking about, oh, is it Banksy? Which I think it makes no sense for this to be Banksy. I, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of ha stuff happening there. A lot of um, nods to what's happening in the MCU. Like you have She-Hulk, you have Captain America, you have Hulk in the background. You see Daredevil. Um... Black Widow, then you have uh, the, the Fantastic Four in there, Wolverine, Scarlet Witch, uh, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. There's obviously all the guys from the from the um, Defenders, right? Luke Cage, Iron Fist, uh, Daredevil. The only one that's missing is actually... Uh, ah, what's her name? Jessica Jones. So she's missing... Um, but I guess she's missing because she's not really in costume at any time. So she just looks like a normal citizen. Um, but that's, it's interesting. But yeah, I don't like this style. I don't think it's really special. Maybe there's something happening with these posters at one point. Maybe it's a special artist. I don't know. But thinking about those maybes, I've bought a lot of stuff I didn't really love because of these maybes and have sold almost all of them. Uh, not almost, I've sold all of this off at one point and usually you sell these off um, at a bad price because you don't love them, you don't have a big connection to them. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know, that, that's not a good thing. That's, that's why I don't buy anything I don't really love. I don't know what's happening with this poster, if there's anything happening at all. We don't know, usually nothing happens, it's just what it is, which is fine, which is fine. If you love it, buy it. But I wouldn't fall more into this stuff, like I buy it because maybe something is happening because most of the time nothing is happening um yeah so so much about this poster um then we have the james bond 60th anniversary limited edition poster this is happening at 12 pm um this is a weird one so look i'm not really interested in this poster at all all the 007 stuff didn't face me at all so this series one a blind box with seven different posters it's a 40 gem i mean 40 gem is relatively cheap right uh so you have the uk quad poster it's also it's not the american posters that's interesting it's it's uh a collection of different posters from different places so these has uh 1962 editions ultra rare it's the james bond license series one it's not even fe interesting it's not fe wasn't it ah because we had already posters yeah okay it makes sense so, From Russia With Love is the Italian duo poster. Interestingly enough, I think this was released on Quid, but I don't know if it was also the Italian poster. Um, 1963 editions. Okay, that's different. So the first one was 1962. This has 1963 editions. Then we have Danish one sheet poster, 1964 edition. So it's always one edition more. That's pretty funny, actually. Um, the Thunderball UK quad poster, 1965. Then you get the You Only Live Twice, UK Quad Poster, 1967. Honor Majesty Secret Service, French Door Panel Poster. Now, this looks pretty cool, right? Like the design of the of the whole collectible looks pretty dope, I think. So that has 1969 editions. Then you have Diamonds Are Forever, Japanese One Sheet Poster. Japanese posters are... I know people that are really, really interested in this stuff. So that's, that's kind of interesting. 1971 editions thunderball danish one sheet poster that's a, that's an airdrop so you need to have that's a secret rare you need to have all these seven posters and then there's going to be a snapshot they already said when the snapshot will be taken here thursday 20th of, 20th of october at 8 a.m pt that's when you get the airdrop um which i guess is fine this is something not a lot of people will go for i suspect i mean it's only it's less than 2000 editions anyway so you don't need a lot of people and they will go for it and if you love it you buy this you buy all the posters because you love them and you get an airdrop this is totally fine this is this is great i think um it's a good idea i mean on the aftermarket i don't see them get high prices anyway so why not go for it you have time to accumulate them even this is like the the way i really can enjoy this i mean i, I don't enjoy the, the license 
but if they would do a marble thing which is not too expensive because it's 40 for the box and it's not something that is super super rare because people really would love to have it and you can say okay i love this piece i want to have it whoops i want to have it and i get even rewarded with an airdrop that's perfect right that is perfect which is not to say like if you if you get let's say Darth Vader if you get all three you have the whole set then you get rewarded with an arrow that's like yeah if you can shell out that that 1k for the ultra rare one <laughs> you're not part of the game that sucks a little bit more but even that I mean would still be better than all the airdrops they have done lastly okay so that's it we had the posters we had this uh comic-con yeah that's what I also want to talk about the comic-con exclusive stuff so this is just, just, just because I promised you I would talk about it. Uh, we at 10 minutes. Okay, that's quite fine. So I promised you we will go about all the exclusive. I will just do it impromptu. I will tell you what I like, what I don't like, all the stuff. And um, yeah, maybe you can use that if you're at Comic Con or if you're interested in Comic Con. Maybe you can check this stuff out later if it hits eBay. I mean, there's most of the stuff you can already pre-order on eBay from people that will attend the show and will try to buy it. So. There are ways, let's say it this way. So, uh, get you any sports here, sketchbook, blank, blank variant. So these blank variants are pretty popular. Um, 200 bucks though is a lot. I don't know. I, I don't think the, the, the comic ones are that expensive. But uh, blank variants, interestingly enough, there's, there's also a pen with it, right? It's also in, in there. So these can be drawn on and usually you get an art. When it's, when it's a comic, you try to get an artist that is acquainted with the comic usually or at least with the, with the character and then you let them sketch on it, which is pretty great. I have some of those also sketched on. Um, so NYCC exclusive original art cards hand drawn by Marvel Tops artist Brian Kong. So that's also interesting. Brian Kong is an artist for the uh, uh, Marvel Tops cards. Those can, I think, these can be can be also collected digitally, but they are not NFTs. Um, also, pretty cool thing. These are these are drawn on and signed, which is pretty cool. A hundred bucks. Well, okay. So <laughs> these these are uh, these are sweets. Okay, I don't think anyone cares about sweets. I wouldn't care about sweets. Um, here's a print. There's a, the sports cards and stuff. That's not my thing, right? Uh, I don't want to talk about too much about it. I have no idea about it. So here's Brian Zero 2022 Moon Knight Oscar Isaac, the Avatar of Hunshu Limited Edition Metallic Print for 30 bucks. So that's an interesting one. A nice metallic print. Metallic prints really have really nice popping colors. So that's interesting. Not as a collectible though. Uh, I, mm, I don't know. Not as a collectible. Those prints. But I'm, that, that's me, right? I, I don't like collecting prints so much. Uh, mystery comics books. Interesting, but I don't know. Brian Kong, Summer of Judge, NYC exclusive. So here's like this little gargoyle thing. Gargoyle, can you even see that? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. So, uh, 400 pieces. Limited edition gargoyle guestly by Mischief Toys. 85 bucks. So I've never heard of Mischief Toys before. But I know that these pieces usually pretty thought after. So that can mean if you buy it for 85, maybe you can resell it for 100 or maybe you can resell it for 500. I have no idea because I don't know the brand. But this is the stuff that's happening. Like at these cons, you sometimes get a single Lego character figure, like just a Lego figure. No, no parts, nothing, just the figure. And if it's a Spider-Man or whatever, these things go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars. Or single legal figure like I mean if this was one of these exclusives I don't know if you can see it wait a second so if that guy was a comic-con exclusive it would be worth hundreds maybe thousands depending on how many there are so that's crazy <laughs> right crazy that's crazy numbers <laughs> The worst thing is there was one my, my son wanted to have and that was really bad because I had to tell him we can buy that one. That's like thousands for a character. I am not going to do that. Um, so what do we have here? Interestingly enough, here's another one. Uh, Abominable Toys Robot Chomp NYCC 2022 Plastic Empire Exclusive Limited Edition. 700 pieces for 50 bucks. So I would 
figure this is one of those characters that's also pretty expensive then this is this is like one of the big ones here action comics one uh the comic mint exclusive foil cover 40 bucks limited to 1500 pieces if you can get your hands on one of these i can tell you there's money in it you can right now pre-order them on ebay for around 80 bucks but that i mean these guys have to be able to get these if they don't get to them and they can buy them then you're off but usually those are those are always more expensive in the aftermarket <clears throat> so adventures of god volume 2 print i don't know that looks interestingly <laughs> i don't know for whatever reason i have no idea what it does adopt the shark kit interesting adapt your own shark and help save re save reruns each kit features a shark plush a customized adoption certificate with the parent's name and shark name five by seven inch a full color photo with fascinating facts about your new shark and the shark sticker your name and your shark's name will be listed on our website species available great white hammer whale blah, 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 blah. 55 dollar online save 10 dollars at the show okay that's an interesting one but nothing like a big collectible <clears throat> So here's another collectible piece. I also don't know this brand. Diamond Select Toys. Okay, th that's a free one. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> so you can get a free one. Okay, I guess you can't do anything wrong with a free one, right? Just go to the Diamond Selectable, uh, Diamond Collectible Toys booth. Uh, acrylic keychains. I don't know who's collecting these. Here's a little shop of pins. So these are pins. And I haven't known this for quite a while, but pins are really collectibles, like really, really big collectibles. There's people that spend quite some cash on pins. Fig pins, Fig pins is a name that I heard a lot about recently. That people spend lots and lots of money on it. So here's another a Midtown Comics uh, exclusive Amazing Fantasy 1000 Whatnot shared exclusive by Tyler Kirkham from Marvel Comics. So Midtown Comics is a comic shop in New York. Um, I, I'd say arguably the biggest comic shop and the most known comic shop in the world. Um, Tyler Kirkham, great artist. We also have him on VV on some exclusive covers, at least one that I know of. Um, and there's the Spider-Man 1000 exclusive. I mean, this is not issue 1000 of Spider-Man. The number is totally made up, made up, so don't even think about it. But interestingly enough, it's uh, resembling a Hulk issue that has this pretty similar cover interesting um is this thing at all limited i can't see the number so that's interesting we can see if it's limited okay so that's one you can get here uh exclusive virgin variant so the virgin variant is the one that has no numbers and nothing on it that's pretty interesting Th that's one of the interesting ones i'd say i don't really like it to be honest but surely one of the interesting ones so Unknown Comics is also doing this Amazing Spider-Man 10 Mark Brooks exclusive NYCC version variant. Mark Brooks, I talked about him in my last video. Um, yeah, that's Mary Jane in the in the Iron Spider suit. That is pretty dope. I have to, have to admit, this is a pretty, pretty dope comic book. Uh, 40 bucks. I, I don't know if it's worth it. I would guess so. So here you have the Black Cat also, the same one. And this should be the virgin variant. It's not the virgin. Is this the virgin? This is the virgin. Okay. So this is a regular variant, right? Because that's half the price. Only 20 bucks. Maybe that's more interesting. And here's also a Tyler Kirkham exclusive from Amazing Spider-Man 6. Ah, that looks like a really, really easy done comic. But there's only thousand available. Okay, so that's that's the limited one again. Anime action film gaming fan experience. I don't know. Acrylic keychain. So I'm trying to do it a little bit faster now. So that's interesting what interesting one so this is archie comic and archie comics is the the blueprint the show riverdale is based on so riverdale is based on this comic and they've done a homage uh cover here resembling x-men for the days of futures past image that's usually wolverine in the front with kitty pride so there's a shirt that you can get here uh, art commissions by Hyperboost Studio. Interesting. Uh, you can get art commissions on Mars in on Comic Con, right? That's they have a whole artist alley. I personally wouldn't go for this, but maybe I don't know. So here's some, some 
my my computer is not loading the images great i love it i love it my internet connection is so bad here so let's see if we can reload yeah super great let me pause at this point okay it seems it's not my computer it's there's actually no no images there so uh there's still tons and tons of stuff so i will go only over the stuff i know so here you have the avengers iron spider pin interesting then you have warren lu foil exclusive variants from batman 125 those look pretty great those are good looking warren lu interesting batman beyond one gabriel del auto variant 30 bucks i think this is pretty pretty good that's a good one limited to thousand pieces with certificate of authentication um by carnivore comics i don't know carnivore comics but gabriel del auto doing a spider uh, doing a batman and that's on the number one piece that's pretty dope that's a dope book i'd say and here's even another one uh the foil variant uh, also limited to a thousand pieces that's a great book right that's a great book in my opinion so what else is here stuff that i would go for i, ha I have to uh, go to the stuff that i would go for otherwise we will spend hours here we're at 20 minutes already damn so there's berserker one dimension exclusive vans variant i don't know berserker is still in a weird place berserker is a comic done with keanu reeves so that's interesting there will be a show also catwoman natalie sanders new york foil exclusive so i think this cover i've seen this before not sure also limited to a thousand pieces that little statue of the child is super dope 50 piece 3d printed um <laughs> that's a dope piece i can tell so what else oh uh, commissions ah here you can book various commissions by artists you know uh like chet hardin or delgado etc but that's what we talked yesterday about so that's a nice artist proof here Nick Suoyan from uh, Farsight Comics of the Crow. That's a nice piece. 300 bucks. I don't know if it's worth it. It's limited to 25 pieces, but I would be tempted for this piece. I really like it. I think it's a great piece. I uh, really love the Crow also. Um, another exclusive variant, comic interesting. Here's another Gabriel Del Auto variant. 30 bucks, uh, also limited to 1,000 pieces. I think those are all great. Like the Gabriel Del Otto variants are also great. Here's another one. Here's another big one. Like with Action Comics 1, you have Detective Comics 27, also the foil variant, also limited to 1500 pieces. Those are those two are the best ones, I guess. These are safe bets. What, what's going to be interesting? Um, what else do we have here? Edge of Spider-Verse, Inu Glee variant. Like I said, Inu Glee always does great stuff. And this is another one. Looks also great. Also limited to a thousand pieces. I don't know most of these pieces pieces are pretty well done and here's the chrissy zulu variant you could basically buy this chrissy zulu variant and get it signed by chrissy zulu because she's there same with the inya glee so that's interesting we have her on vv um so that's pretty dope right so and there's a lot of these these are all the mcfarlane uh variants done by tyler kirkham um, i don't know if i would go for these though i don't know but with the tyler kirkham variants i would be a little bit um more cautious i don't know if those will be that expensive but i don't know scout comics eternus one i have no idea i just think this is a awesome awesome image so what else do i really know here so there's Yu-Gi-Oh cards um yeah there's baseball stuff etc etc like a lot of good stuff like if you're there there's a lot of exclusive uh, yeah he hardly thin um hardly thin that's a shot at harley quinn and it's a something is killing the children homage cover by bus 65 bucks for this cover is quite expensive um but there's only 80 copy copies of this of this image and everything relating to something is killing the children seems to make money so i think this could be those both could be very interesting but yeah you have to pay a lot up front let's let's be let's be clear with that that's a quite a lot of money for uh, something that is not related to marvel or dc in any way it's not related to dc this is not this is not harley quinn it's hardly thin it's just a just a homage character right so harley quinn 30th anniversary ck exclusive um 
these images are usually very interesting and always thought after if they have this 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 color concept behind it so ivan tau limited to 400 pieces yeah i would go for this i would totally try to get one of those these are super interesting um here's an interesting star wars print i guess and house of slaughter what i just told you about something is killing the children the hardly thin variant house of slaughter is a is a spin-off of the original something is killing the children comic and this is the vance kelly dimension x purple variant of issue number one 25 bucks um also something like something is killing the children is really taking off surely this will be made into some kind of movie show or whatever i'm pretty sure about that super successful so everything related to that if it looks good is awesome i think i like this one more yeah i think i like this one more orange variant so uh here's a hulk hulk number nine limited to 1000 from scan um interesting but i wouldn't get it <laughs> i don't just face and doesn't face me here's a robert downey jr autographed lithography from iron man so that's also an interesting piece i guess um that's cool that is cool what else what else is really interesting for me what would i like to get um so that's all the stuff these bags always nice exclusive wise um here's another so, some toys again like more reds vinyl art toys two pack tenacious collective interesting so that is actually kevin smith and oh what's his name ah uh, i don't know but these are these are the the guys from from uh more reds and what's the other movie like the kevin smith movies like he's does that's jay and silent bob that's it jay and silent bob doesn't even say yeah it, does, it also says jay and silent bob this is cool this is great 150 bucks is so expensive but jay and silent bob are so classic characters i love them the the last movie sucked but whatever <laughs> these are like just cool so i totally enjoy these these pieces are great like if these were 50 bucks i would totally get them at 150 bucks i don't know man i would have to look at the size and whatever seven inch so that's a regular uh action figure size i don't know that's a lot of money for for those ah, i don't know a bit expensive so here's a spider gwen ornament that's interesting but yeah i don't know i don't think these are so cool and here's a nice print mondo groku connection 17 by 20 22 the by 22 inch print uh only 20 pieces no i don't know that uh, that would be tempting i say that would be tempting that would be dope yeah jackets i would never buy jackets these i don't know like at a comic con why would i buy a jacket that is not really exclusive like this one ivan tau limited to 1000 pieces miles morales 39 that's a piece i would get that's a piece i would get that's awesome um what else yeah of course like mosaic scrapbook uh batman nycc4 is this a comic it says it's coming 28 page look into the creation of kai mosaic creations iconic covers and uh okay so that's a uh no i wouldn't get this <laughs> that's interesting but i don't know how these will 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 work money wise Muffy the Pimp Slayer. Oh, that's that's a nod to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So it's Muffy the Pimp Slayer. Uh, never heard of that comic, so I wouldn't go for it either. Doesn't mean it's it's not interesting. It's just that I don't know it. Um, here's a lot of what are those pins? No, that's not even pins. That's little characters standing on little things. Interesting. Uh, GI Joe cassette, T-shirts. Star Wars Admiral Throne 12 inch jumbo figure. So 12 inch is like pretty big for an action figure. 80 bucks. I don't know. Limited to 750 pieces. I mean, that might be interesting. I don't know. Would have to check this out. So that's totally not to Secret Wars 8. For the first time, you can see the Black Spider costume. Or you see the the, the uh, how Spider Man got the Black Spider costume. So interesting but nothing i would buy just because it's homaging that cover i uh, would need to be interested in the in the comic itself but also some interesting holo falls exclusive wow this looks dope 
say you wish so that's dragon ball uh exclusive print right 11 by 17 that's pretty small and you have to pre-order okay so the, you can pick this up interesting but that's dope that is dope um more prints and stuff okay so uh, what else oh poison ivy will jack fall full virgin variant oh that looks cool but with all the stuff i've seen so far i wouldn't get for this one it looks dope though it's it's a dope piece don't get me wrong it's great so here's the the <laughs> the, the pg-13 and the not safe for work variant right you can let those here's another one of those pins uh video game homage interesting oh that's weird the dragon quicks okay yeah of course pops the the uh pop figures have to be also here interesting diamond edition so these are these are pops that have sold well i guess 150 bucks and you get the diamond edition i don't know if these are worth 150 bucks but i mean funko pop usually people pay a lot of uh, money for special funko pop so i would think these will be also collectibles people really really want to have so i think this one looks pretty great this is a great design i love it 120 bucks i don't know that's still that's still expensive but i think it just looks cool like this would catch my eye at the show um what else do we got what else so here's a mini art book interestingly enough so looks dope but aside from just being dazzler on the cover i don't know i don't think it's so super interesting so oh, this is a nice one this is a nice one spider gwen gwen number five ivan tau uh, exclusive from frankie comics um that's a good one that's a good one if you look i mean that's spider gwen that's miles morales these both have a history they look good great colors i mean ivan tau does a lot of uh cool stuff it just doesn't say if this thing is limited at all um so that's going to be interesting 40 bucks is not nothing uh quite a bit actually but well there's a lot of cool stuff like here you have a spider-man one variant limited to 1000 by joe josku um looks cool and this one is by chrissy zulu again and this is so much to of course ultimate fallout 4 i don't know who is collecting chrissy zulu i have no idea i like her designs i really like to watch her draw but i wouldn't invest too much money in it and so i don't know how other people are looking at it how much will these comics be worth on the aftermarket sabine rich variant also these are all people that are on the show like you can buy these variants and get them signed right there which is super dope um what else here's a star wars homage cover with the mandalorian wolverine so limited run print exclusively ah that's a print okay i thought it was karma uh cover then these genesis prints so that's interesting that's an nft project i mean actually stanley's genesis was supposed to be a board game um or tabletop game that was interesting and then they turned it also into an nft and i'm in there but i don't know what i what i'm thinking about the whole stanley thing with power entertainment i don't know there's so much history in there and i don't know who's the bad guys and who's the good guys so i'm trying to stay away from it but it's free i mean <laughs> you can get it for free right so here's the darth vader 25 make may who variant 30 bucks that looks dope that is a dope cover right that looks great that's one i would get for and here like star wars empire strikes back boba fett premier collection one seven scale statue by diamond selector is 200 bucks not cheap but look at it great quality diamond select does the best statues for little money let's say it like this i mean 200 is not nothing but you will have a hard time find a statue in the quality of diamond select toys for 200 bucks usually so i love their statues i have a few in the background here that are actually diamond select statues also great prints hellfire club jacket but this thing is almost thrown after you at this point stuff of nightmares one by tyler kirkham variant so interesting i don't know I, I can't tell much about it because i don't know and here's also a superman facsimile variant exclusive fleischer homage so that's an interesting one fleischer is the 
the animated show from the 60s, 50s. I think it was oh, even 50s. I don't know if that, it says here anywhere. It doesn't say it. So that's interesting. Um, so they did the homage cover to the first Superman comic book, but in the style of these 60s or 50s animated series. That's really cool. Um, they're not even expensive, like 20 bucks for 2000 editions or 30 bucks for 1500 edition variant. That's not expensive. And you can get it signed, remarked and graded by CGC right there. That's even more interesting. So this is a cool piece. This is a cool piece, I would think about it. I don't know if you have to uh, talk about that before. Oh, the cartoons are from 1941 to 1942. So these are really, really old cartoons, but everyone says the Fleischer cartoons are superb. Like they did a great job in the animation. Um, that is also a really, really cool piece. I would say this is the coolest piece aside from the from the Action Comics 1 and the Detective Comics 27 foil variants. That's another great, great piece. And this is one I would really like to have. Superman 75 Big Time Collectibles Red Foil NYOCC exclusive variant. Limited to 1000 copies. I love this image. I love this image. And Superman 75 is actually the book where, where Superman dies. So, oof. That's a great variant. That's a great variant. Love to have it. That's that's all, that's like a personal favorite, right? <laughs> that's a dope piece. Amazing Spider-Man 1 facsimile. Also limited to 1000 pieces for 40 bucks. It doesn't say who's the artist, but it looks pretty, pretty dope. Um... Yeah, interesting one. Would be also interesting to know which Amazing Spider-Man one it's going to be. As a fact, similar, I think it will be the original Amazing Spider-Man one. Um, but we don't know because they don't say it. As they don't say the who's the artist. That's like such a no-go, not saying who's the artist. So a lot of other interesting stuff here. We're almost at the end of the video. Um, is there another must-have? Yeah, Red Sonja, Vampirella, those are always pretty uh interesting and sought after but i'm not so much into it that i could give any advice here that's an interesting one vanish kirkham variant that resembles the uh batman cover from todd mcfarlane he's really like the most homage cover artist ever i think <laughs> it has to be has to be so anything else interesting oh i really like this one the mark brooks exclusive the x-men it's a cool cover. It's a cool, nice one. It's, it really looks dope. That's a good one. Mark Brooks, dope on cover on covers. So it's like what he does, right? So that's it. That's all the stuff. And we're at the end of the video. That was 37 minutes. It's I'm sorry, guys. I can't do I can't do short videos. There's so much stuff. So much stuff to talk about. So I had to go through it. Um, yeah. Thanks for staying with me on the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If it was interesting, let me know what you're going to do uh, at Comic Con. If you're at Comic Con, or if you if you don't want to go at Comic to Comic Con, tell me why. That would be interesting. And leave a follow if you haven't. So see you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>